it is time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my Fusion Fall Retro playthrough series. Uh, my name is Prisified. If you didn't know, I'm one of the developers in the project. Uh, and so we released this early access version of the game that only plays the tutorial uh, yesterday at about, or I guess today technically, at like 3, 4 in the morning. Uh, so if you want to check it out, uh, there's a link obviously in the description. You can also go to FusionFallRetro.com in order to download that. That should be on the overlay right there, or at least uh, the universe side of the website. And uh, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for, for all the kind words regarding uh, us releasing this. You know, it wasn't exactly on August 1st, it was a couple hours afterwards. But we still did release, uh, release this, and we, we tried our best to get it out as fast as we humanly possibly could. So without further ado, I'm going to play through the tutorial, I'm going to make a character, I'm going to do all that good stuff, it's going to be part zero of my retro gameplay series, and then when the rest of the game comes out I'll be updating that uh, with part one, two, three, four as, as we go through the future. And I'm going to make the exact same character, because character data, as far as I know, is not going to save because of, of the database issue. So I'm going to make a character here, uh, I'm not going to name it what I would, but uh, I'm gonna name it just with uh, the name wheel because uh, there's no point in doing a custom name right now because of the because uh, you're not going into the full game you're only doing the tutorial. But when the actual when we're actually doing the series, I will have a, a custom name for my character, uh, and I'll try to I'll try to uh, bring that up again when we get to the point in case you, in case anyone forgets. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video right now. I'm gonna log in so you don't see my password, and <laughs> and we're gonna get right into it. All right, I'll be right back. And I'm gonna shut up for these uh, these cutscenes. Hello, it is I, Dexter. Can you hear me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by, and I'll bring it up on your monitor. And here we go. We're gonna pick our name. So uh, a lot of people don't know this because you didn't know me back when the original game was here but I always named my characters with the last name of Acorn Blue I don't know why I think I did it because A and B were both at the beginning of the alphabet so I didn't have to like scroll through the entire name wheel in order to get the name I wanted uh, which is most likely why because all the first names normally started with either B or they were a custom name but I don't know why I picked Acorn Blue also I just can't find blue on this name wheel I passed it at least twice already there we go and uh, for name, it doesn't really matter because the character is not going to save. But for the sake of this playthrough, I will be going with Blamo. I did this uh, when we were testing it out earlier, or at least when we were testing out features uh, like uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, worked great. So Blamo Acorn Blue is going to be the name of the character that I choose, and we're gonna be making our character too. Uh, a lot of people might know what my character looks like. I'm going to be making that character for the playthrough. Uh, for my personal playthrough, I'm going to be using a different character. But this is, I guess, the more iconic version of my character that people might know. It's in the Legacy uh, intro. If you if you didn't know, he's sitting with uh, Prince King Morbucks in the back, looking all fly. And he, I'm gonna be, we're going to be playing through Retro with him. I'm not sure what skin color I would really use. I think this one is the one that fits best. But, uh, that's the only thing that, that normally changes whenever I make, uh, this character specifically is the, the skin color. <laughs> so we have rockabilly hair, obviously. Uh, pitch black. Uh, I used to do brown, but I think brown kind of looks, yeah. Also blue wouldn't be bad, but I'm gonna stick with pitch black, because that's what I, I normally do. I always do tallest and lightest, so I'm the, I'm a big boy. But, uh, green eye color, like mine. And the good thing, oh, how oh, nice, this is nice. Our shirt and our pants that I wanted to use are like right there. And then we're gonna get our shoes. And this is him. We might have to make the skin a bit lighter. Nah, nah, that's fine. And this is my character. This is, for the for the time being, this is gonna be Blamo Acorn Blue. But I'm gonna, th I'm going to try to uh, snag a custom name for him when I do this actual playthrough. But for now, it is Blamo. Let's continue with Dexter's uh, explanation for the time travel experiment. Excellent! Bioscan is complete. 
Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little soft. <laughs> wow, are you seeing these readings? <laughs> a fine day for science indeed. <laughs> Prepare for launch. Ooh, Three. What does this two, button do? What, baby? No! Well, that can't possibly be good. Error, you have been sent much farther into the future than Dexter intended. Watch out! Where did you come from? Not now, number five. We gotta move. Follow us. Initiate training. Please move the mouse to the right to look at the mark. Alright, so that is the introduction cutscene to Fusion Fall Retro. If you're not sure, quite sure about the story of Fusion Fall Retro, basically you, as a character, you are a volunteer for Dexter's time travel experiment. And you get in, and everything's going so well until Dee Dee does her trademark, uh, ooh, what does this button do? And then obviously everything goes to crap, and you end up in this... Shut up, computers. Uh, so, we <laughs> uh, I'm going to be doing the... Don't, don't yell at me, computers, I'm going to be doing this in a second. But basically, you get sent so far into the future that it's like a post-apocalyptic future, and you got to get out. So, uh, that cutscene for 2008-2009 standards was actually pretty decent. It looks kind of dated now, but you gotta imagine the sense of what that was. I was like, Please move the mouse to the right to look at the you mouse. actually serious right now. I'm not gonna move the mouse, but, uh, you gotta imagine, like, eight or nine year old, no, that would be nine or ten year old me, actually. Nine or ten year old me putting on the, the game and seeing what Blossom and Bubbles and Buttercup and Samurai Jack and Dexter and number one like fighting all these all these alien creatures that was awesome back in the day and of course Ben and number five kind of kind of get you and are gonna show you the Please ropes here. Please move the mouse to the right to look at the marker. Fine! Good. <laughs> now move the mouse to the left to look at the next marker. So this is the tutorial I'm just gonna make sure my Excellent. mouse is working all well now which it should be. Now push the mouse forward. Very good. Now pull the mouse back to look down. Use the w -A -S -S and we're going to be walking. To also, I, I, I love how they lock all the other movement keys. You can only push forward. W right good. here. To move backwards, press and, and hold then the S key. Same with the Very same good. with S. While moving, you can excellent. You can also move side to side by using the yep, A like and this. D keys. So now the movement is pretty simple. You move forward, lunch. you can move backwards, you can move side to side. You can use the WACD keys, or if you want to be me when I was a kid, you can use the arrow keys. And this move, the you can't side strafe using the arrow keys, which is kind of weird. Like the arrow, side arrow keys do this, and they move the camera. This is how I used to play, because uh, I think it was like Wizard 101, I think, did, uh, Excellent. You can also did arrow side keys. Side by using the A and D keys. Actually, now I think I played this first, so I'm not sure why I did the arrow keys, but yeah, WASD is, as I think, by far the superior way to play. Uh, sorry to all my arrow key users, but I'm going to run up to the ledge. To jump, press the space bar. And yeah. since Fusion Fall is a platformer, the w key while jumping. jumping is very important. Please jump onto this ledge we'll find that out a, a bit five. later in the, the Let's Play, how important jumping is, and we're going to, uh, we're going to go talk to Ben and number 5 right now. So Ben's sound glitched, but these are a bunch of fusion spawns. And we're gonna this is the combat in the game. We're gonna be uh, knocking out these fusion spawns here, these these low level one fusion spawns with our new gun. Woohoo! Nice work, guys! Those creeps turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. That's gonna mean the, the amount of fusion matter you right have corner, is displayed you in your fusion matter meter. As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. Warning, more hostiles incoming. We got more company. It's a Cyberus. Let's take him down. 
And Osiris just shows up. So let's take him down with the help of number five and Ben. And the Cybers actually attacks me. So uh, I'm taking some damage right now. But <laughs> in the end, it doesn't even matter. We're going to slay that beast. By the way, you know, I just realized who you are. You're the kid from the past Dexter told us about. Well, you're in a world of trouble now. Look up in the sky. That's Planet Fusion. Ruled by some nasty guy named Fuse. Fuse has covered the world with gross green goo. And those disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything. Fuse's monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusers to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, Planet Fusion will absorb our world. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. I need some help with a super important mission. Report to me right away. Your communicator comes with a built-in minimap. It will show you how to reach number two. You are the marker in the center of the minimap. The red marker on the minimap is number two. As you move, check your minimap to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Thanks, computers. Note that you may need oh to my go gosh. On large objects like buildings to reach your target. Yeah, so that was a full explanation of the story for Fusion Fall, really. There's this guy, you can see him in the sky. Uh, well, it's not that's not a guy, that's a planet. But there's a guy on the planet named Fuse who is trying to conquer As you move, this check world. Your map Computers, sure can you right stop? Note Thanks. That you, you may need to go around large objects like buildings to reach your target. Thanks, girl. Okay, so you can. <laughs> so he is trying to infect this world with like all this gross green stuff that you see around here with these terrafusers and then the goo on the ground. And his ultimate goal is to make the entire world covered in goo so he can absorb it. Or I guess the planet can absorb it. He doesn't actually absorb it. As you move, check your mini map. To I'm make getting a bit sure frustrated by number my computers right now. Note but that you may need to go around large objects like buildings to reach your. Look for the glowing and this is how, uh, to help you find number. This is two. how most of the games go. You you have a mission. You don't actually have a mission right here, but but you have a mission marker, and you want to go talk to number two. And we're about to go. Uh, we're about to go do a really cool quest. To talk to number two, get close to him and center him in your screen. All right. A talk characters with a mission for you will have a floating exclamation mark over their heads. A character's available missions will display in a mission menu. Select number two's mission, Transmitter Critters, to continue. Let's do Transmitter Critters. This attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? To accept the mission from number two, <laughs> click the Accept to exit the mission menu Click the close button. The mission's current objective is displayed on your screen. Your first task is to defeat the oil ogre that stole the transmitter. All right. Use your mini map. So people who have been target. in the community for a bit know that this is kind of a meme. Uh, the oil ogre stealing the transmitter is a bit of a meme. So we're gonna go show him how it's done. He's over here. Uh, we just gotta kill him. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't think he attacks back. Yeah, he does. But we should be perfectly fine. We're doing a lot more damage to him than he is doing us. Our lightning gun DPS is off the charts, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we're about to get this transmitter back. Nice work. Bring that transmitter we did get the back transmitter back. Let's go. Since you have completed your first task, your mission journal has updated. All right. To open your mission journal, we're going to open the, the old mission journal. Your mission journal contains information on all your missions. It tells you who gave you the mission. It does. It tells you what you need to do. That's very true. It also tells you the reward you will receive once you complete the mission. That's so fair. Click the X in the upper right corner of your screen to close the journal. Your right. new task is to deliver so the So obviously this is a tutorial, and you know, <laughs> since I'm making the game, both this and Legacy, updated, I should know the basic of Fusion Fall, but it doesn't know that, two. so we're just going to play along. Click on number two to talk to him and update your mission. Characters with a mission to update will have a floating question to accept your reward. Click the complete mission button at the bottom of your screen. So they don't have voice acting for this line, but number two says, Thanks! The battle isn't over yet. Dexter says you're the kid from the time machine. He's in trouble. You need to go to the infected zone right away. Which, uh, is going to uh, tell us about what we're about to do next. Click the close button to exit. We're ready for a nano, and I need your help. I think Dexter's in trouble. Congratulations. By successfully completing the mission from number two, you have filled up your fusion matter meter. When this meter fills up, you will automatically receive a new nano mission. Completing nano missions 
will reward you with new nanos. Every nano you collect will give you more powers and make you stronger. So we are going to do our first nano mission. If you don't know what nanos are, they're little, you see in the bottom uh, right hand corner, there's one, two, and three at the bottom. Uh, your nanos would go there, you can equip up to three at a time, and what they would do is depending on what nano they are and what power you selected, they'll do different things. So some make you run faster, some make you jump higher, some make you do more damage to enemies, some attack the enemies directly or stun them or put them to sleep. It's really cool. Uh, there are also some other treasures, like or some other, I was going to say, other powers like treasure, uh, where you get more money from all sources, you get more fusion matter from all sources, you level up faster. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff, and I'll get into all of those as we uh, come to them. So we're going to talk to Buttercup here, we're about to get the Buttercup Nano, and she is uh, going to give us that mission. Select Buttercup's mission, a fusion matter, to contextual has disappeared. You've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to lose. Click the click. The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fuse's TerraFuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh. Good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task is to enter the infected zone to find Dexter. You can enter infected to use yep. the warp gate. So infected Target zones, I'm going to talk over computers right here, sorry. It. But uh, infected zones are these gross areas where, where fusion matter is completely like out of control and infected inside. And there are these energy shields that uh, that prevent uh, the infection from escaping, which is how you know it's an infected zone. This is just a generic infected zone, just a basic platforming, because it is the very beginning of the game in the tutorials, and I don't want to give you anything too crazy. But uh, we're going to go in there. You can see the portal from here. It's that green thing on the by the platforms over there. That is Fusion Buttercup's lair. We're going to try to get over there and uh, and take her down. Because she, uh, according to Buttercup at least, is very plausible that she has Dexter. And we we can't have that happen. So we're gonna we're gonna warp it. I am trapped in Fusion Buttercup's lair. Quickly, find the Fusion portal. <laughs> Use the floating platform. So we're gonna to get across this dangerous. We're gonna platform over there. You know, this really intense platforming. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think I can do it. You can enter a oh, we're going, we're going ready. Right? Woo! 360. Go back, and then we're gonna back it up. Go that way, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go all around. We're gonna go all the way around. There we go. Perfect. All right, we made it. So this is Fusion Buttercup's lair, and uh, inside there is Fusion Buttercup. Is there Dexter? We don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's warp in. Now, click the warp button. Thank goodness you made it. Hey, Dexter. I am over here. Come talk to me. Hurry. So we can't warp back out, obviously, but normally you could if this was like a real fusion layer. But uh, we're gonna talk to Dexter right now. This fusion buttercup here. Let's check it out. No, she doesn't spawn. Oh, I didn't know she didn't. She doesn't spawn in until you talk to Dexter. Okay, but fusion buttercup is gonna be over there. Trust me. Trust me on this. <laughs> Select a fusion matter to continue. It is you! I knew we would meet again. My stupid sister messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule. We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world. Fusion Buttercup is in the next room. We must stop her before she can cause any more damage. Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes, created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle it. Are you ready? Let's go! So fusions are really, really cool. They're gross, twisted versions of, of Cartoon Network characters, as he said. She's big, she's green, and she's, she, oh yeah, so she's fighting. Dexter's helping us fight her. Uh, fusion combat's not too, combat really doesn't get too uh, crazy until you get nanos, so it's just a tutorial, but we're gonna take down Fusion Buttercup right here, and we just made our first nano. Look out, bad guys! Congratulations! You have made your first nano! Like fusions, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter meter to create Nano Buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful! Your communicator is now yep. a So now nano you can see uh, Buttercup is now our first nano, so we can call her nanos. using the one key. Whoa! That does not sound good. You can escape to Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. 
So they're actually going to stay behind. Uh, I'm trying to call you Nano Buttercup, but it's not letting me. But, uh, yeah, so Dex Dexter's going to stay behind. Uh, risky move, I'd say. Very risky move for him. But we're going to escape over to Dex Labs using this warp gate and try to escape Tech Square. Alright, it looks like we're making our escape. Can I call Buttercup yet? Nope. But yeah, it looks like we're making our escape. But this is the top of Dex Labs, actually. Uh, you can see the infected zone over there. We're all the way over here. It's kind of cool if you if you want to get a like a nice view. Uh, but yeah, so we're about to escape Tech Square. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. We've been bamboozled! So we can call, so, so if you want to call Buttercup, you can see she has a stun power right now. So I'm going to right click to use my stun power. And now that the tech wing is stunned, we can make our escape. Let's go. You did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here. And there we go. Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot. Our time traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Men Dark and Number Two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out. All right, everyone. Next stop, Hero Square Sector V. And there we go. That is going to be the Fusion Fall Retro Early Access Tutorial. That was it. That's how we got. So, uh, we, we, we escaped Tech Square. Dexter is behind. We left Dexter behind, but he says he's okay. He sent us a video message. We escaped with number two. We escaped with Buttercup. We escaped with number five. And we escaped with Jack. Uh, what happened to Ben and number two? No, number one, Ben and number one, and Blossom and Bubbles, and I think that was it. Yeah, we don't know. But, um, we're, if this was the real game, or if this was the uh, more updated version of the game, we would go to Sector V the Future, and our next goal would be to rebuild the time machine, and uh, we'd, we'd, we'd start from there. We'd start the real game, where, where we could, you know, an MMO, where we, could, we can go do what we want, do whatever quest we want. But that is just the tutorial. It works completely fine, except for that one time where Ben's uh, Ben's voice kind of glitched out. I've I've never seen that before, actually. But that that was it. So if you guys want to check this out, uh, there is a link in the description. I'll also put it on screen right now because the screen is just a black screen. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I was gonna mention this, but I couldn't find a good time for it. I really hope you enjoyed the overlay that I worked really hard on to get. Uh, the announcements that pop up, the character art that fades in and fades out, uh, the the bottom three links. I guess they're not really links. They're they're just info to to a link. But uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. So uh, that would be it for me. Uh, as you know, my character is Blamo Acorn Blue. In the future, he will be another custom name. I'm not gonna say what custom name it is, just so no one steals it. Even though I, I doubt that would happen. But uh, this game is going to be continually updating with more features, with more uh, more things to do. And as as we can uh, do more features, I will upload more parts of this. Uh, I really won't be able to upload more parts of this until things like combat are included, because that is what a majority of the game is based off of. However, uh, once there is a walk and talk version, I will definitely be streaming this on Twitch. I'm just hanging out, walking around. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, uh, if you if you liked what I did here, you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like and a comment. Uh, subscribe if you want to uh, be notified when more videos come out, which you know should be a lot more more often now that uh, now that retro is at least in some capacity out. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's understanding and kind towards us, the develop developers, uh, when when we had to release a couple hours after our deadline. 
Uh, and thank you to everyone for signing up. We hit a crazy massive uh, record on the forums where we had almost, I think it was like over, it was very much over a thousand people on at one time, which was crazy. I'm, I'm not sure what happened now or what the, the number is now, but it was really, really awesome to see where, where our max online was like 400 and then all of a sudden just shot up to like 1500 that was crazy so thank you so much for that uh sign up if you don't have an account on future players please sign up now it's the only way you can play the game uh check out our forums check out the rest of my videos there, there's a lot of cool information regarding legacy uh which is what i mainly do so if you're interested in that please check that out but i think that's it for me so thank you thank you thank you thank you to everyone for uh the the support and i will see you guys in the next video i don't know what that'll be but whatever it is i'm sure i'll see you there bye